Joining us now, Sir Nigel Scheinwald, who until last year was Britain's ambassador to the United States and was previously the UK's most senior diplomat in Brussels. He sits on the advisory council of the pro-European coalition Business for New Europe and also the Eurosceptic Conservative MP Jacob Rees-Mogg. Um, Sir Nigel, this is an extraordinary moment because Mr Cameron's actually in Washington to discuss the new EU-US treaty on trade. In fact, he might be negotiating something which might exclude Britain were he to leave and then the only complaint we'd have was, well, we did help negotiate it. <laughs> well, that would be a nightmare scenario and uh, for our economic future and I think politically uh, as well. Um, to give David Cameron credit, this uh, EU-US uh, free trade agreement, which he's advocated, would be a very good thing for Britain and for Europe and for the United States. And uh, uh, I think he, he's right to give uh, prominence to that. But the reality is, if we left the European Union, we would be negotiating trade deals by ourselves. We wouldn't be part of a powerful 500 million economic bloc able to stand up to India, China, the uh, United States and the rest. And that's one of the strongest reasons for questioning whether there is a, a viable economic future for the UK outside the EU. Well, the United States already done free trade deals with Singapore and South Korea. The United Kingdom, on her own, would have had a free trade deal with the United States years ago. We're held back by a semi-protectionist European Union in negotiating free trade across the world. We've held up our free trade deals with other free trading outward looking nations. I think our position regarding free trade would be better with a subsidiary membership or no membership. Well, of the why, European why do you Union. think that the United States is so keen to do a deal with this protectionist uh, racket that is Europe? But when it's a big market that people are doing deals with the European Union but very very slowly. The United Kingdom would have a free trade Trade deal with the United States by now if we hadn't handed over negotiations on such things to Europe. We would be better off in trade. Jacob Rees-Mogg, Sir Nigel Scheinwald, thank you both very much indeed.